Today, we will finally be modifying the wagon. So today's video is something that has been requested a lot and I know there is a lot of wagon lovers out there so I finally decided to pull the trigger and I came across these two things and I decided you know what we're gonna go for it and these two things are sedan fenders and a sedan bumper so what I'm gonna be doing today is I'm gonna be doing a full sedan conversion on my wagon and if you don't know too much about wagons I'm gonna show you the differences right now so as you guys already saw in the previous clip, you saw the sedan bumper here. There's only a few differences. Number one is it's slightly wider, wider to accommodate the wider fenders. And also there's little differences like this. You can see how these little gills are slightly different than the regular wagon here. Also, the main reason why people do a sedan conversion on their wagons is wagons are essentially like the narrow body, if you want to say that. If you look at the fenders in the wagon now, it doesn't have pretty much any shape to it. It's pretty round. Nothing kind of protrudes out. It's super soft in its shape. And then the sedan ones that I got, you could see, are just like every other GD sedan where it actually protrudes out there's a lot more shape to it and a lot of people actually like it i like it as well i've been looking for these for a very long time they're definitely not in the best condition but if you've seen my wagon in person the wagon isn't either so i wasn't really tripping on that all i really care about is the shape is going to be better and the condition of these are better than the condition that they are on the wagon as it sits now so that's pretty much all that matters what i'm going to go ahead and do is i'm going to do the full swap see what it looks like I think it's gonna be good so the first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and take off the bumper I'm not entirely sure what this bumper is held in with I'm sure it's a bunch of clips a couple screws but I know for sure I think the grill needs to come out these two little inserts need to come out I'm gonna go step by step and we will figure out together I'm gonna go ahead and start by taking out these two pieces here I'm gonna go ahead and take this grill out well that's already coming out because I've done it once before and uh, we'll go ahead step by step I think we got it So, in like the weirdest way, I think it looks super aggressive with no lights or a grill. But as of right now, I got the headlights out, grill out, fenders coming off right now. It's not entirely too hard. There's just a few clips that I kind of wasn't really aware of. There's one kind of hidden underneath this fender liner here. It's really hard to see, but there's one right there, which is bumper to fender. And then there's a couple here with the fender liner holding this on. Another thing that I know people do is they swap over to sedan fender liner as well. If I'm going to have to delete the fender liner, if I can't make it work with this, then I'm going to go ahead and do that in the meantime and then probably eventually just get the sedan fender liner. But I am aware that people do have to normally swap over that. So we'll see how that goes. I'm going to go ahead and keep trying to get this thing off. But unfortunately, right now, quick intermission. I'm going to go to a work meeting. I am going to have to come back in like an hour or so. I'll see you guys in the next clip. Okay, so I'm definitely back in action. Don't mind if my face is a little bit dirty because I haven't even seen it. I went through absolute battle to take off one of the fenders because one of them, it looked like it was previously taken off. One of the bolts was actually stripped. I had to drill the bolt out and then it almost looked like someone like riveted it on. Like, I don't know what was going on with the wagon previous to my ownership, but it was not good. And look at all this dirt that was just like impacted in there. Uh, last time I took off the fenders on the hawkeye that was pretty much there too just dirt collects a lot down there so 
it was super dirty but finally got both of the fenders off it wasn't too hard to do now i'm going to start working on the bumper but you could see both of these fenders are ready to go you could see how dramatically different they are compared to the regular one here which just comes on the wagon normally how random and smooth that is how aggressive these ones are way better finally oh that was a lot harder than i thought and finally there it is the bug eye is officially it almost looks like a blob eye now looks kind of sick with no lights but finally got the bumper off got the obviously the fog lights unplugged first there was two more clips that were basically holding the entire thing on uh which were basically right there there's one on this side one on the other side uh now i'm gonna go ahead install the new bumper new bumper but i'll show you kind of the compare and contrast for the new sedan bumper and the other one as well do you want to be in the video or what um yes <laughs> this is your time to shine um so pop quiz when was the first sti made was it 2000 for the u.s was it 2002 2003 or 2004 don't get this wrong just guess first one to the u.s you have this three two one The US. You failed me. I think the US. Just say it. US 4. What'd you say? US 4. Say it again. The US 4. What number? 2001? No, 2002, 3, 4. 4. 4? Ooh, she got that right. Don't even tell her. Let's go. Okay. So, now that we already know my, my niece is smarter than half of you guys, what are you doing? Out here? No, I didn't. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and show you the compare and contrast for the wagon and the sedan. To my understanding, there's only a couple key differences that differ the wagon and the sedan bumpers, but pretty much the only differences that I could really tell is, number one, obviously, that the sedan is slightly wider to accommodate the fact that the, uh, the fenders are a little bit wider. And also, I kind of just noticed that this, like I said earlier, stop <laughs> this uh there's these three little holes here and then this one i actually personally like this kind of like a little bit better for some reason but this is the one for the uh that came on the wagons originally and then this is obviously the sedan one slightly different not sure why they would do that but that's pretty much all i got it literally looks the same in almost every way shape and form besides that okay let's go ahead and install it so I got the fog lights swapped over. I also got the license plate swapped over and the modification that literally everyone DMs me about, messages me about, comments about is my license plate holder. I get so many messages about it. It's from Rally Tech. I'm gonna link them down below again. <clears throat> um, they sponsored not only the Hawkeye, but also the wagon. They sent a couple out. So super grateful for that. So again, installed one of these guys, you can adjust it just like that it's super badass i freaking love these things makes it look a lot more aggressive so of course you got to show the wagon some love finally got around to installing it now that the bumper was off makes it a lot easier now we got the bumper all finalized we're gonna go ahead throw on the bumper we're gonna retain this little foam guy that foam guy is supposed to be there i know it looks a little bit weird but um it actually kind of fills out the bumper and also makes it so it doesn't make any like shaking noises or anything like that it's supposed to be there from factory now we're going to go ahead, install that, install the new fenders, get the final look. I'm excited. And there we go guys the sedan conversion is finally complete definitely came out a little bit better than i thought it was going to <clears throat> you can really tell the difference now of how much it actually protrudes out and you definitely get some more space to throw a bigger wheel in as well which is pretty sick everything turned out definitely pretty good license plate holder obviously that's one of everyone's favorites that's looking super good and i'm sure some of you guys caught the fact that one of them is like a jdm fender so it has i believe the jdm ones have like the jdm blinker here 
So obviously I need to get that and then install one on the other side. That's the only difference between the two. And there's like a little like rust spot as well on like this one. But again, obviously the wagon, it's not a show car. It just has to look a little, little bit better than it did. The only other one thing to note is the fact that I was talking about how the fender liner doesn't necessarily line up, obviously because these fenders are a little bit wider, but I didn't have too much trouble. I just threw a couple zip ties just to hold it in place. Um, this is how much it kind of doesn't really fit. You can see there's the gap there, but it's not like you really see like a bunch of fender liner kind of like hanging down. So I'm not really worried about it. I'll probably eventually just replace it. But like I said, just threw like a zip tie there just to kind of hold it in place. So you don't necessarily need to get it right away. It's not like it's just floating everywhere, but definitely something to note the fact that you should get sedan fender liner. But either way, I'm pretty happy with the results. I'll definitely do a, a lot of before and after shots right now, just kind of showing before how it was, how the it was definitely not as aggressive, how the bumper fit, the little bumper fins as well on the after one. So definitely looks pretty good. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed and let me know what you guys think of the new kind of wagon build, I guess you could say. It's definitely coming along a little bit better than it was. So as always, I hope you guys enjoyed and we catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.